half a palm size formation from the um, Mashamba West Mine in the Katanga. I'll give you a sideways view first of all. You have this dolomite matrix with traces of heterogenite running through it. And then sitting on top of these are a lawn of cobalt and calcite crystals, which have the most amazing color zoning. Um, attention to detail on these is quite amazing, of course, by Mother Nature and her artists. So on this particular one, if you if you go to my eBay store pictures, you can actually zoom in and have a look at the intricacies of these crystal developments. Now, as we sing it here, it's slightly overexposed. Ah, there we go. That's a pretty accurate color. And there you can see, I think this one may have some malachite or even some colwezite associated in sections like those. Even my finger moving close to the camera makes it get distracted. There's so much to look at here. All the way from the most likely the Mashamba West Mine in the Katanga. Um, very, very intricate, uh, a fine development of these cobalt and calcite crystals. From a display point of view, pretty versatile piece. I, I would display it at an angle like this. Going around, unfortunately on the matrix there's not much to look at. So maybe having it flat as well. On a turntable, tilting it slightly like that. So looking from the top down, you'd have this effect going around. Mashamba West Mine in the uh, Katanga Copper Crescent of the Congo, formerly known as Shaba Zaire. You'll see in some old collections the guys talk of Shaba Zaire. That would be the Katanga Copper Crescent in this modern day and age.